Let's talk about it with Daniel Greenfield. He's an investigative journalist for Front Page Magazine. Daniel, uh, thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for inviting me on. Sure. The, the U.S. has been cutting funding to the Palestinian Authority for some time over its payments to the families of terrorists. Why would Democrats want that money restored? Well, this is actually a case of a self-inflicted cut. It's a story that goes back to around 2002 when an American from New Jersey named Shmuel Waldman was actually shot in a terrorist attack by a Palestinian Authority police officer. He and a number of other terror victims sued this case dragged on for around 10 years. Um, and then actually Congress introduced the ability of terror victims to be able to fully sue the Palestinian Authority. Um, and the Palestinian Authority, in response, rejected certain kinds of aid from the United States because it would expose them to lawsuits from terror victims. So what uh, Senator Dianne Feinstein and a number of other senators are trying to do now is actually um, deprive those terror victims of being able to sue them in court uh, by exempting funding for um, the Palestinian Authority police, which is really uh, has been involved in numerous terrorist incidents, from actually being able to be liable to be sued. Uh, but the optics here, you know, Daniel, don't look good. I mean, you've got money going to the families of terrorists. I mean, the U.S. clearly, uh, you know, wants to stop those payments. But these Democrats say, wait a minute, there, there's a big problem here. People are suffering unnecessarily, a lot of innocent people, even though they're somehow connected to terrorists, right? Well, they're saying there's a humanitarian crisis. But if you look at the resolution that's been put forward by these six Senate Democrats. This resolution um, does put some money into humanitarian aid, but it also puts in millions of dollars into aid to the police forces of the PLO. And these police forces, they're armed with assault rifles. Uh, they've been engaged in numerous acts of terrorism. So if they just care about getting clean water and food to the children, as they claim to, why, uh, fund, why fund terrorists? Why send the money over into uh, the so-called police forces? But on restoring the funding, I mean, do you think the Democrats have another motive here? Maybe uh, could they be pandering to their Jewish donors, for instance? Well, it doesn't seem as if they're taking their Jewish donors seriously so much as they're taking their donors who are supportive of terrorism. Uh, mm. Because, again, if we just wanted to provide aid, there are ways we could do that. We could actually just directly ship aid. That's not what they're doing. Instead, they're funneling money to the police forces, which funnels money to terrorists. Why they're doing that is a good question. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas seems to be accepting of the cut in funding, but, but is still insisting on paying these terror families. Is that a mistake? I mean, isn't the impact the same? Either the families lose or the Palestinian Authority loses funding overall, right? Well, they've made the case that they would rather continue sponsoring terrorism uh, than receive aid from the United States. And that actually shows where their priorities are. Uh, they've been given a choice between being a government, which they claim to want to be, and between being a terrorist group. And they're choosing to be a terrorist group. They're choosing to put their terror funding first. Uh, rather than putting statehood, rather than putting the welfare of their people first. And that really should actually factor into the decisions being made about the peace process right now. Sure. Uh, Daniel Greenfield, uh, thanks for your insight here on ClearCut.